The Drama Corn from Arlene Garcia, far, far away. In a very beautiful place lived a drama corn named Flay. She lived in Dramalandia, a very nice place. It was 1,000 kilometers away from Argentina. Chapter 1. It was very, very windy outside. And clouds were forming rain clouds. I was very excited today. Today was my first day of school. How exciting is that? I would learn how to fly. Very important. And I would learn how to swim. Also very important. But the coolest of them all is that I'm going to learn how to use my powers. That's so exciting and so cool. We learned how to use, how to let our horn to sparkle. It wasn't easy. The weird thing was that instead of letting my horn sparkle, it stayed the same. Hmm? Flying lessons weren't better. Instead of going one meter high, I was still on the floor. That was just weird. And I couldn't do even swimming? What was wrong with me? <sighs> I was very cross off myself. And one day I decided I will never ever go to school. And then I also gave up. Actually, it was actually what, two days after my first day of school. And my parents didn't know what to do. One day, my life changed. Like, really changed. The queen made an announcement. She said that her golden owl was stolen. And that five drama coins had to go to the bad side at the end of the world to get it. It was in a cave. So I rose my foot to go. Two other drama coins were also in my class that also went. The five drama coins were Storm. His powers were air, very cool. Me, flame. I had the powers for fire. Winter, she had the powers of ice. Wasn't that cool? And then Bella had the powers of earth. And the last one is Firefly. She had the powers of fire. Very cool. Okay, I have a plan, guys. Me. So, me, oh, I, and Bella are going to go to the cave and distract the knights. Then winter comes, and she then will do a ginormous, cool, 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 cool ice performance so that the, that the knights will be poof. And firefly and, fi and flame are going, flying into the cave, and ta-da, the queen will be so happy. And then we will be so happy also. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I wasn't sure if that plan would work. But I was a little bit maybe scared. That's, yeah, to say something. In the next moment, Bella and Storm rushed to the knights and said something. I don't know. Then Winter came and did the best ice performance ever. It was very cool. Okay. You go first, whispered Firefly in a tiny, tiny voice. I can fly, I said in a very scratchy, very scratchy voice and tiny voice. What? said Firefly in a very big voice. The knights turned around and looked at us. If we were dragons, it wasn't a nice look. Uh-oh, I'm going, bye, 
said Firefly, and rushed and actually flied away. Bella, Winter, and Storm followed him and lay, left me behind. And I was so unhappy and so cross that I couldn't do anything, not even swimming, not even using my powers, not even flying. I was so cross that I did a big heat wave on the floor and it was boiling hot. But then I realized what I did. I used my powers. How cool is that? I was so happy and the nights went off because the floor was so, so, so hot that it was so hot that they just had to run away. And I was so happy that I did a looping in the air. And when I saw that, I was much happier. Oh, I was so happy that I could, yeah, jump in the air and fly around. And yeah, then I went happy into the cave and got the very, very heavy golden owl. And then I went so happy to the, to the, to my place, to Dramalandia. And there we did a ginormous party. First, for, yeah, that the golden owl is back. And second, that I got my powers and fly because everyone actually knew that. And I was so happy. And after that day, I knew you should never, ever give up on yourself. The end.